Hey guys, Stacy here. Welcome to Let's Play Star Stable. Cadence has a slightly new look as there were mermaid additions to the game. I did not buy any of the mermaid leggings yet, but I could not pass up the mermaid fins, ears. I don't know what they are, but they're super cute and they look great with this hair. I'm so excited. Um, but today I thought we would stop by Ferdinand and Eddie's new horse market because it's been so long since we've played and they live here now permanently outside Fort Pinta and we've yet to stop in and say hello. So I thought we'd do that and maybe then carry on with uh, Alex and see what's going on with the main storyline because I think things are exploding, the world's going to end and we're just off dilly-dallying. So we'll have to check back in with them. But let's see what Ferdinand has to say about his new horse market. I'm Ferdinand and this is my wife, Eddie, and this is our horse market. It's beautiful. For years, we've roamed across the Orvik with our caravan, looking to connect riders like yourself with the perfect horse and quality tack. Baroness Silverglade agreed to let us set up camp on a more permanent basis here by the sea. After so many years on the road, we're looking forward to putting down roots. You put down roots? I'll believe it when I see it. We talked about this, Eddie. It's what we've always wanted, a place to call home. And no more seasick horses. Ugh, I won't miss that. That's true. Now they don't have to pay rent or <laughs> you don't have to go chasing horses for them all the time. Every stable and village on this island has special horses you can't find anywhere else. But you'll find no wider selection of healthy, happy horses than here at Ferdinand's Horse Market. You might be thinking, Ferdinand, are those all the horses you have on offer? I thought you had the best selection in all of Jorvik. Well, I've have you know that the horses you see are just a taste of what we have for sale. What do you think, Cadence? Would you like to see more horses? Yes, now he's going to teach us how to use the shuffleboard. Do you even have to ask, Ferdinand? This is Jorvik. Of course our friend wants to see more horses. I know that. Just being polite. To swap out the horses on display, just use the shuffleboard over there. Oh, look, here comes another customer. Hang in there, Cadence. Oh, hello. Excuse me, Ferdinand. Are these the only horses you have? I heard you have the best selection in all of your Vic. Funny you should ask. Cadence here was just about to demonstrate how to bring up more horses with the shuffleboard. Ugh. Why was she groaning? <laughs> Why did that happen? Go ahead, Cadence. Use the shuffleboard and call out new horses for our new customer. Okay, so I'm going to hop down. So we can see here that there's... Oh, no, I ran into the fire. Four, eight, ten horses on a page. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And then we could swap them out. Boom. Impressed, are you? Whoa, so many horses. We're just getting started. Cadence, would you take us for another whirl with the shuffleboard? Gladly. There's less on this page, though. There's nine. Oh, ten again. Oh, yay! She's way more impressed that time. She must have found one that she likes. Whoa! I love them all! More! 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 One more time for good measure. It is kind of like magic. Aww. They're so cute. Oh, now she's scared. Too much. Too much magic. Okay. Haha! <laughs> too many horses. A common reaction. Eddie, could you bring her a cup of tea? <laughs> Poor thing! Thank you for assistance in de-demoing <laughs> the shuffleboard. Feel free to use it whenever you feel like browsing the horses here at the market. We believe every horse deserves a home. Go ahead, browse to your heart's content. Maybe you'll find the next companion for your stable. So now we know how to use it. There was actually some new warm bloods added. I believe it was these four. They're so cute. I like this one a lot. He's so unique. So new Jorvik Wormbloods, and then you can find, I think it's like nine pages of horses here. Some of the older ones. This, this is a newer, this is Chicaner, right? Yeah. He's cute. Yes, nine. Nine sets of horses. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, now we're gonna check in with Alex here in Silverglade. If you remember, we had to close a bunch of Pandora cracks recently that were sending shadow seekers to terrorize the village. What you did here today was very important. We will remember this for a long time, but the danger is not over yet. I'm afraid this is only the beginning, the beginning of something very distressing indeed. We're almost drained of power after this struggle, and I have just received word that we have more miracles to accomplish. Are you ready? Maybe? Dark Core has really increased the Garnock effort. Their activities seem to have acted as a catalyst that has increased the chaotic power of Garnock. That's obvious by now. I've already seen indications that more cracks have appeared in other places around Silverglade. They've discovered another large crack at the vineyard and another one out on Everwyn Fields. I can almost see the pink haze in this guy from here. Go and investigate the new cracks and close them if you can. I will clean up the last ones here in the village and restore order. I'll be right behind you if you need help. Okay, so we need to head to the vineyard and to Everwind Fields to close some extra cracks. Oh, you can see the pink glow from here. Oh goodness, okay. The dangerous crack shines with the energy of Pandoric magic that's seeping out into our reality, while at the same time, bit by bit, it sucks in our re reality into its magic world, like an open black hole. Use the Shadow Seeker Vacuum Cleaner to weaken the crack and then close it with the powers of the Lightning Circle. So we have to take our Shadow Seeker Vacuum Cleaner 2.0 and drop it there, weakening the magic shield. Then we have to play a mini game. We have to click the stars if they ever show up. There's one. Okay, so we've closed this one. You succeeded in closing the crack. Yay! Phew. All right, now we will check out the vineyard. Oh, there it is. I can see it. Excellent. That one was a little bit more difficult than the other one, but we did it. Beautiful. Oh, that's a fun picture. What is this strange creature in the bushes? It's me. Why did I hear a cat? Oh, it's one of the spiders. There must be a spider nearby. I panicked and clicked out of the game. Um, I hear you. <gasps> is it in the clock tower? No, I don't hear it now. Oh my gosh, this is gonna drive me crazy. Sir, do you have a spider in your shop? It's so loud here, like, <gasps> there it is. Oh, I got it. Whew. I knew it kept sounding like it came from that fountain. I think I have like a grand total of five spiders now or something. Actually, let's check. That's my quest log. What am I doing? Six! Oh, I was close. <laughs> you closed the crack by yourself. Well done. This cannot be allowed to continue. Otherwise, Pandoria will soon swallow our world. I tremble at the thought of what will happen next. I don't know what Mr. Sands and his minions have come up with this time, but it is clear that Garnock is much more active now than ever before. We all have to help out and keep an eye out for new cracks. They can appear at any time, and believe me, there are going to be more. I'll help you close them when I can. Are you ready to help me protect Jorvik from the Pandoric Garnock threat? Even if it's going to take us to the end of time, and possibly beyond it? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, Cadence, we have an important assignment. As Keepers of Aideen, it's our duty to protect two, 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 two. As Keepers of Aideen, it's our duty to protect Jorvik from going under and vanishing into the Pandoric Pink Fog. From now on, we need to keep watch. We have to be ready at all times. I think the easiest way is to ride up a mountain and look out over the countryside. The pink glow can be seen from a long way away. It should be easiest to see in the evening, at night, and in the early morning. Pay attention, other people may find the cracks and let you know where they are. May the light of Aideen shine over all of us in these troubled, pink glowing times. Oh, and now Alex is in our journal. Hooray. Okay, so we have to keep our eye out for any pink cracks and in the meantime, probably carry out business as usual which means catch up with some of these quests that we have. Oh, Jasper has a new, new scarecrow. We should check out with him. Oh, we should check it out with him because Golden Hills has been redone a little bit. 
they got some updated textures, so we 100% have to go check it out. Yes, let's go see. Oh my goodness, look at this. This looks so cool. I'm super excited because Golden Hills is one of my favorite areas. I love fall. I love Halloween. I love that there's like pumpkins and stuff here. Jasper has a pumpkin farm, so they're everywhere. This is beautiful. I love the orange and red trees. Oh, and I love that it just doesn't look like a, <laughs> like a yellow haze anymore. Everything was just coated in yellow. This is so cool. I like this a lot. Jasper's farm is beautiful. It actually looks like a place, you know, you, you might want to live now. <laughs> Look at the ground. Oh, that's fantastic. Jasper, I love what you've done with the place. Hmm. Well, of course, Cadence. Of course it was going to turn out like this. That darned scarecrow. What am I going to do now? Should I just stand here and guard my pumpkins myself while all these hideous birds birds gorge themselves silly every time my back's turned? This new scarecrow is no use at all. Completely useless. Just like everything else these days. Soon the birds will be back feasting on my beautiful pumpkins again. We cannot have that. They are beautiful. Those flying vermin have no respect for an old man. Cadence, when I was a boy, birds knew how to behave themselves. It was better in those days, which isn't a surprise because everything was better back then. Everything. <clears throat> Don't look so happy, Cadence. Don't you dare come here and make fun of me. Otherwise, I'll show you what's what. What do you mean you just want to help? <clears throat> well, if you're so fixed on the idea of helping me, you could ride to Pi and tell her I want to order a new scarecrow from her. One that moves and is just as scary, if not scarier, than those at Scarecrow Hill. Not a lazy and unreliable one like mine. The new Scarecrow needs to understand respect. I don't want any more such insufferable types on my farm. And tell Pi that my new Scarecrow should only attack birds. Nothing else. That's very important. My legs aren't what they used to be, so I don't want to be chased around by some deranged monster. Tell Pi that. You know where she lives, over in the middle of that miserable swamp. Now you'll have to get going. I'm sure I just heard something. Caw. Off you go. Poor man, being terrorized by birds. <laughs> he just wants one of those really cool moving scarecrows. That's all. No big deal. Okay, we've made it to Pie's house. It's always a challenge to get up here to Pie's house. Please don't step in the green liquid. I'm not sure what it is. Hello, Cadence. This is my favorite voice to do, you guys. <laughs> Hello, Cadence. How lovely to have a visitor. I don't get many of those these days. So, Jasper wants a scarecrow, like the ones up on Scarecrow Hill. Well, it was me who made those scarecrows magic, if you remember, so it shouldn't be difficult. But there is one problem. As you may remember, I wasn't exactly the kind-hearted beauty you see before you now when I cast those spells. In fact, I was rather evil and mean and green. I really didn't pay much attention to how awful the bewitchments and curses I was casting actually were. But now all of my magic has a firm basis in ecological and ethical responsibility. I have actually been thinking about applying to have my special brand of vegan witchcraft ISO certified. You understand now, don't you? I've stopped mixing brews and potions with frogs' eyes and bats' wings and newt's legs. Now I just use ingredients from the herbal and plant kingdoms. It works just as well as before, but all of my old spells are now so unusable, so I have to come up with new ones each time I want to do some magic. It's probably doable, but I need to give it some thought. Could you be a darling and fetch me a cup of organic swamp tea? It always gets my brain cells fired up. The whole cauldron over there is full of it, so just take a cup and fill it up. Which cup? The one right here in front of you. Okay, here you go. Do you like my dress? It's new. Ah, swamp tea. Now I can see the pieces falling into place. The first thing we need to do is build the scarecrow. When that's done, we can start thinking about the magic spell. We need a sack. Easy, you say. 
It certainly isn't as easy as you think, Cadence. I can't make scarecrows from just any old random sack. Obviously, I need a sack made from certified fair trade materials woven by people with ethical working conditions. Otherwise, I'm, I'm afraid I won't be able to use it. Where you'd find a sack like that? Hmm. Ask Jasper. He might know. We need hay to stuff the scarecrow. As luck would have it, I know where you can find the exact hay I need. Karen at Golden Leaf Stables only uses organic hay, guaranteed to be biodynamically grown. If you ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a bale. If she doesn't give you any, tell her I'll turn her into a cockroach. Actually, that's not, that's not very nice. Sorry. Sometimes my old personality creeps back in. Tell Karen I'd be very grateful if she could supply a bale of her lovely hay. Forget anything I said about cockroaches. To be able to make a scarecrow, we need rope. I don't know very much about rope, but the fishermen over in Cape West Fishing Village know all about it. See if you can find someone there who'll be able to help. Don't forget that it needs to be eco-friendly rope without preservatives, additives, or any other weird stuff. Okay, so she's given us quite the task. We have to get a scarecrow, or like a sack, a rope and hay to make a scarecrow. A sack? Of course I've got a sack. A sack made from certified fair trade materials woven by people with ethical working conditions? What on earth is this nonsense you're talking? What was it you said again? A sack made from certified fair trade materials woven by people with ethical working conditions? Why would I have one of those? Are my regular old sacks not good enough, huh? Only a fancy schmancy luxury sack will do for little fancy princess Cadence, eh? What's wrong with a proper old sack made with my own hands, made from linen I've grown myself? That I don't think he realizes that's actually exactly what we need. I've even got some kind of stupid certificate and ugly stamp from the council to say it's eco-friendly or whatever gibberish they came out with. Regular old handmade sacks are obviously not enough for sniffy Miss Fancy Witch. What? That sounds exactly like the kind of sack she's after. Well, why didn't you say so? I've got hundreds of sacks over there in the barn. You could take one, but show it to me first. I won't let you take one of my best sacks, just so that witch can strut around and show off. The sack is for his scarecrow. Doesn't he want it to be the best one? The sacks are in one of those boxes over there. Use this crowbar to open them up. I nailed them together properly so that no thieves could steal my sacks. Where? Oh, do we have to go in this? Ah, yes. Yes, we do. Hello, sack for pre-approval. You found a sack? Let's see it. Take the sack and get out of here. I can't be bothered with any of this nonsense anymore. I need to focus on my pumpkin patch. Otherwise, those darn birds will gobble up every last pumpkin while my back's turned. What are you doing still standing here? Take the sack to pie. Because you still had an exclamation point, sir. I think we should gather all the materials before going back to her. So uh, let's figure out rope and hay. Hello there, Cadence. What can I do for you on a beautiful day like today? You'd like a hay bale, you say? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. But you'll have to help me with something first. Just now, a truck arrived with this week's delivery of hay, but a whole bunch of the bales toppled off the truck as it was coming over the bridge from the fishing village. The driver, some dork named JB, said he had swerved to avoid a giant seagull that was attacking his vehicle. As JB said, he had to leave immediately for another delivery. The bales of hay are still bobbing around in the water by the bridge. If you'd be a gem and collect them all from the water for me, you could take one of them for yourself. Sound like a deal? Sounds like a lot of work on my part for some hay, but okay. Oh, there it is. Thanks for all your help, Cadence. Great work. Here's a hay bell as agreed. What, what do you want it for, by the way? You're giving it to Pi, you say? Hmm. Are you sure that's a good idea? Can you really trust her? Well, I suppose you know her better than I do. Take the hay bell to Pi. See you later. There we go, we can check in with Mr. K. Trout about rope. <laughs> Hello there, kids. You'd like some rope, you say? Well, I'm sure we can arrange that. You came to the right person for rope, Cadence. Nobody knows more about rope than me. 
If you'd just help me with one little problem I've been having, I'd happily give you any rope you want. What is it I need help with, you ask? Well, there's just been a small disaster. My very best fishing lure has disappeared. Without it, I'll never catch any fish, so I'm sure you'll understand how important this is. What happened? Well, here's how it was. I was here in the harbor, fishing as normal. Then I saw a really huge fish over there by where the boat comes in. Imagine if that's the flounder of terror, I said to myself. The thought of catching such a huge fish was too much. I told myself I had to try and catch it, so I threw the line out as far as I could, but I slipped and the fishing line went flying, along with my best lure. I tried to see where it landed, but it seemed hopeless. Off it went, flying through the air faster than a rabid eel. Seems like it flew off in the direction of the village. I've looked all over the fishing village for it, searching like a crazy seal, but it's been fruitless. The lure is lost without a trace. It's almost as though it grew legs and walked off. Otherwise, I'm sure I would have found it by now. If you can find it for me, I'll give you as much rope as you want. Do you think you can help me? Fantastic. I knew I could rely on you, Cadence. That's why I stood here and waited till you walked up to me. Clicked my exclamation point. Come back when you found my lure. All right. So we are going to look for his lure near this little circle on the map. Ooh, this guy is glowing. Hey, guy. I guess he had it. Thank you. You found it. Wonderful. What kind of rope was it you needed? You want a completely eco-friendly rope. Are, are you sure? You've got the chance to choose absolutely any kind of rope. So are you sure you don't want a proper indestructible rope made of titanium or silk? Or a priceless rope made from gold and diamonds? I think I want that one. I've changed my mind. Okay, I won't force you. If you decided it's eco-friendly rope you want, it's eco-friendly rope you'll get. Now let's see here. There you go. 12 feet of rope made of locally sourced seaweed. It's not very strong and smells pretty bad, but a more eco-friendly rope than this you'll struggle to find. Hope you get good use of it. See you. I actually wonder if you can make rope out of seaweed. Is that a real thing? Hmm. You found a sack? Are you sure it's made from certified fair trade materials woven by people with ethical working conditions? Jasper made it himself. And it's got the council's organic and ecological seal, you say? Well, then that's just perfect. I see you've got a bale of hay from Karen. Um, you didn't say anything about me threatening to turn her into a cockroach, right? You didn't? Great. You found some rope. Ew, it smells vile. That must mean it's truly super eco-friendly. Good work, Cadence. Oh, so she has to work with it probably a little bit and figure out the spell that she has to do to make the scarecrow come to life. So we will have to check in with Pi next time. And I need to keep my eye out for Pandoric Cracks. I can't forget to do that because that's how I need to progress in the story. So I have to raise my reputation there and continue doing tracks, tracks, cracks. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you had a blast. Please give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.